Right. Caribou Cup, another win, but only three words matter this week. The North London Derby. Let's talk. Come on. Uh, good evening, people. My name is JR and I am the FR Gunner. I'm joined there with Ash. You could have been anywhere today, but you're here with us and I appreciate that. Ash, how are you today, man? I'm good, good, brother. How are you? Yeah, I'm all good, bro. Good Not to too bad. Had a good right, week? As usual. Has, has it been a positive week? Yeah, man. So, so. Couple falls in my work and that. Can't yeah. do anything. Because you're always on Zoom and emails and that. So it's a bit, yeah, frustrating. But you know what I mean? We move, we move. How about we you? Move. Yeah, not too bad. Same old, same old, man. You know? Um, do you know what? The only positive really is obviously the Arsenal victory Come in on. the Carabao Cup. And the weekend as well, isn't it? And the weekend as well. We're on not, a bounce. Come on. Is, I'm, I'm saying, we're on a bounce. Since you've joined us, I think we've Come only on. won. It's like a new signing, isn't it? Do you know what so I mean? I'm saying, man, you're, you're the station's <laughs> lucky charm, mate. Long <laughs> <laughs> may continue, bro. And, and can I just mention that, you know, we done predictions um, the last time you were with us, and I think it was myself who got it right with the 1-0 victory you against Burnley. Indeed. You did indeed. I so, said 2, I think. You said 1-0. Yeah, 1-0. I think you said 2-1. I said 2-0. 2-0, two, two that, that was it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, so oh, yeah, we're, we're we're on a good roll. And obviously, yesterday um, we got the victory in the Carabao Cup. We're on to the next round. I think it's the fourth round against Leeds United. Um, you know, apart from the issues with actually watching the match, it was it was a good result and you know a, a good performance from what I could see. Yeah, yeah, I caught bits and bobs, like highlights. I caught and then yeah. I just read up on it and stuff. Um, from what I hear, yeah, we just controlled the game, really. Like, Leno yeah. didn't even really have a kick. He didn't really need to be there, sort of thing. Just, you know what I mean? That, yeah. that could have been us there, man. Just going there spectating. <laughs> we only got 13 quid, wasn't it? I know, I'm man. Annoyed, we missed bruv. that. I'm just searching for a stream, bruv. Couldn't uh, find nothing. Bro, it was an absolute yeah. nightmare, to be quite honest, you know. Um, looking for a stream as well. I think the world was looking for a stream. Uh, and... Everyone was just having issues with it for the for the first is the first time it's ever happened where the whole match is like you know I actually gave up in the end and to make it worse I had the opportunity to go to the match you know it's only what thirteen pounds or something like that nothing um and yeah and I thought you know I'm going to record today from where I was and uh, yeah didn't even get a chance to do that but we're here today we move we got the victory you know it was a good performance nineteen shots. On goal five on target to AFC Wimbledon's, I think it was four shots and none on target. I mean, yeah. it seems a bit of a formality, really, doesn't it? Yeah, I think from what I he heard, I think we got, we was 1 0 up, wasn't it? And then mm. obviously Martinelli done well, did you see, to win the game? Yeah, yeah. Looked yeah. Sharp. yeah. Like as it put it away. And then, yeah, I think the game changed from what I was reading a lot when Smith Rowe and Saka come on, them two link up wicked. Do you know what I mean? They've got a real like, Telepathy, like really good yeah. connection. Yeah. Obviously, grown up together almost in the in the youth through the youth ranks and that. So yeah, yeah. It's good to see them connecting because I think them two are just going to be yeah. They're the future, aren't they? Boys. Yeah, definitely, man. I, I yeah. Really like their attitude, their ethic. Do you know what I mean? It's, I like it a lot. So yeah. With the um, who scored the second and third? So Smith Rowe. Got Smith, yeah, I see that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. just a little and, kind of tap, and, and it was a scrappy one, wasn't it? He got yeah, it. and then Mr. Eddie, you know, he got, he oh, got, yeah, he got, course, he, he got the third. Tidy. Yeah, really? but before before we touch on that, I want to I want to touch on the the starting lineup because um, I kind of felt for me it was a shock because yes, he made I think it was ten changes in total um, from the weekend against Burnley, but it was still the first team. I was. For me personally, I was expecting to see um, a lot more youth players. You know, everyone's been screaming about Charlie Patino. 
Um, Amari Hutchinson, you know, Kiddo Taylor Hart. I wanted to see some of those youth players yeah. getting the opportunity. Yeah. And I, I I feel that that's what the Carry World Cup's about. But I don't know how you felt about that. Um, even, even, even with Partey starting, you know. Yeah, that was, yeah. I think to your kind of question about the kids playing, I think it's a difficult one because obviously you've seen we've improved the squad. Like yeah. A lot of P players we've brought in so we've got a better squad now mm. and we haven't got Europe now so it's like you can't really like utilize them a lot the squad as such so yeah 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 that's, that's why you had a strong team whereas in normal other years you would see the kids out especially yeah. against the AFC Wimbledon yeah but yeah when I see Partey starting before what, three days or whatever it is before the North London derby I was just like just rest him, bruv. Come yeah, on. He's, yeah. Like, from what we've seen of him, I hope it ain't going to continue. But he's the geezer's made of glass, ain't he? Like, he literally <laughs> breaks down, bruv. Like, yeah. All and, the time. So I was just thinking, rest him. You know what it is as well? Like, you would know from watching Wimbledon back in the day. You know, you yeah, just yeah, associate yeah, yeah. a man with like. Vinnie Jones breakers. and all that. Yeah, on, yeah. Dennis, Dennis Wise, Wise and all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lloyd yeah, Sanchez yeah. and that. I don't, yeah. I'm not saying their man are there now, like, obviously, but it's still just that. Now, nah, I just had a bad feeling about that game. But yeah, yeah. He come through unscathed. Did he play the whole game? Did he play the whole night? He's at party. Yeah. No, nah, no. Nah, so he, he, he was on came for on. 60, and then um, Emil Smith Rowe came on, which I thought, you know what, again, um, North London derby on the weekend. I wouldn't even risk any of them to be quite honest. Um, yeah. I mean, the rumor is that Partey requested to play. It wasn't like Arteta's decision, but for me personally, Arteta's got to make that decision to say, do you know what? I'm not going to play you because I don't want to risk you before the North London derby. Yeah. It's an important yeah. match. Um, and let him rest for a bit. If not, I would have maybe given him less than 60 minutes to be quite honest, because the thing is with Partey, like he said, I mean, the guy seems like he's made of glass, literally. Like, I don't know if it's the Arsenal bad luck, because before I'm hearing for Atletico Madrid, he was always played. He was Never ever injured. present. That's what I'm Never saying. injured. Just, come on, man. You couldn't make it up last yeah. season. <laughs> yeah, just like, even when we, we've obviously had injury-prone players, Jack Wilshere, yeah. like Welbeck, these sort of players. Yeah. And we've kind of known about it. But this guy, yeah, like you say, his, his injury record was like immaculate, bruv. Yeah, From what yeah. I've seen. Yeah, and then, yeah, man was just getting injured left, right, and center. But yeah. yeah, hopefully this season we'll have a bit of luck with those sort of things. Yeah, um, but he made it through the 60 minutes, as, as mentioned, which is positive. So he, he's fit and available for, for Sunday's big clash. Um surprised. I I, I personally um I mean, let me ask you a question. The Caribou Cup can get you into the Europa Conference League now. That's that's the opportunity it gives you for winning. Not even it. The Europa. Not even Europa. So in light of that, and I know what you were saying about the young players, etc. Would you still not give them an opportunity? I, I I personally would not have played Partey at all. He would have he yeah. probably would have had his tracksuit or he'd probably been at home if I bought this with you. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have played Partey, no way. Mm. I do kind of get where obviously Ideally, you want to get to a point where you see, like, not saying we're in this league, but we know just from our teams in the past, we've kind mm. of got a solid, like, eight to ten who play every week. You look at Liverpool's team, like Trent, yeah. Bella, Marnie, Firmino, Henderson, the keeper, yeah. Van Dijk. You can name, like, literally the whole team every week, isn't it, pretty much? Yeah, yeah. So you want to get into a consistent 11 with us as well. Yeah. So for me, it's like, I kind of get it where, obviously, we're not, what I'm trying to get, you've still got a big squad. Yeah, outside of yeah, the 11 got, we're gonna yeah, play. yeah, they, yeah, they yeah. They wouldn't get games in it. So this yeah. is a good opportunity, the Carabao Cup. Other years, you've got, you know, with Europe, the Europa League, you play so many games, don't you? But we're not in that this year. So, um, yeah, I kind of understood why he's played a strong team sort of thing. Yeah, I do you know what? more to do with just winning a cup than anything. Because like you say, that Conference League is rubbish, bro. You're yeah, 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 yeah. Open yeah. and labourers and team, you know what I mean? <laughs> No, nah, do you know what? You, you you made a very good point, bro. Um, the fact that we haven't got Europe this season, we need to keep this squad fresh um, so they can kind of step in for the big matches like exactly. the weekend, for example. Also as well, from what we could see from the Burnley match, there was slight rustiness with, with Partey. 
I kind of felt. Um, it wasn't it, one of his better matches. Um, and he needs those matches to be match fit, um, especially before a big match like this, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I, I do... I do see where you're coming from in that sense. Um, he, 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 we needed players like him to play. It was good to see um, Tavares, or Tavares. Um, he's, he's a bit erratic, um, yeah. but players very like that raw, to get your, yeah, he's very raw. But you know what? He, he got the opportunity. Um, for me, from what I saw, um, he looked decent. Um, yeah. Even Ed, well. even even Eddie looked. You know, did you did you see the last goal? Oh, it's a wicked goal. Yeah, yeah. Wicked goal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, not even a simple one. Like some of those ones are easy, isn't it? But that yeah. one, real techers. Yeah, yeah. A good goal. Good would finish. You, exactly. Would, would you get rid of Eddie um still? Is it contracts know. running out? Um, is he for you, is he ahead of Balogon or is it a case, you know, Balogon is ahead of him? Um and Eddie just runs out his contract and leaves. Who, 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 who's ahead in, in, in those two with those two players? The thing is, obviously, we've seen Balogun in what a couple of games, really. Mm. Like, so I haven't seen enough of him to judge. Yeah, the only thing I'll say with Eddie is like he, he's a goal scorer, isn't it? Like you see yeah. him at under 21s level. I know it's yeah. a different level, but yeah, in the fact of the matter is when he gets chances, he's I think he's like one of the leading goal scorers. Yeah, he is. Yeah, isn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. So he is. and yeah, I'll tell us he's saying Kinnin because even when he come back off on loan from mm. the league, that like, when was in the championship, he, they was in the championship, innit? Mm. So he come back and then he was starting him a lot. So I don't know. He's a bit of an enigma, really. Yeah. I've not really made my mind up with him. It's a weird one. We've got a lot of those sort of players like him, um, Reese Nelson, who's gone now, innit? Reece, yeah, he's yeah. Gone on loan or is well, he's, he on, he's on loan. He's on loan. He's on loan. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm hearing really about his, another his... one. Yeah, you know why they show little glimpses where you think, all right, cool, you could mm. come on to be. So I think all of the other guys, even like Smith Rowe, Saka, have been similar to that, but they're just and Martinelli, but they've just been like they more got... consistent with it. Yeah, but yeah. they really need to be doing it like regular, regular now. Like, yeah, you'd arguably say Saka did reach that level last season. Yeah, 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 hundred percent. Smith... Yeah, but Martinelli and Smith Rowe. This is a big year for them. I think yeah. they need to really like show consistency, and I think they will. Like Martinelli, because he started. Do you know how he played? Yeah, no. To be fair, oh. like he's usually on the left. Obviously, he played on the right, and um, he had a decent match. You know, he obviously got the penalty for Lacquer to put away, um, and he looked dangerous. But we've got to remember as well. This is you know uh, a League One team, um, so we can't get too excited um, because yeah, they're not the, they're not the best. You know. AFC yeah. Wimbledon. This is not the Wimbledon that we remember from back in the day, you know. They haven't got no, no, no. those stars and they're not rough and tumble like that Wimbledon, to be fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, with 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 the we've, name, you know them ones, innit? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like 100%. It's just that name, Wimbledon. Bro. I, I agree. I agree. Appreciation. Rare. I, I think with Eddie, for me, I mean, football's a funny game, man. And, and us as football fans, we're very fickle because for me personally, I didn't really want to see Eddie again. But then he comes on, he, he does that nice little flick where he plays yesterday. He does a nice little flick. And I'm thinking, boy, like he's got a little sharpness in him. He may get an opportunity. He should get an opportunity, maybe. Um, so I, I'm one of those um, fickle football fans. Um, you're right, with Balogun, I haven't seen enough of him. Um, I've, I've heard a lot about him. But to make a judgment, yeah, it's a bit too early. I think... You know, he had the Brentford match, and I think that that match he was brought in last minute, firstly, because obviously a Bamiang yeah. like as it had oh. had COVID, so that's hard to do. Um, and he, he did struggle, but it was a hard match to come into, to be fair. So he he deserves an opportunity, and he he scores the yeah, other day yeah. against um can't judge yeah. him on that game. Yeah, exactly. Like you say, he probably was literally last minute dot com, weren't it? Like, yeah, yeah. Bamiang and Laka was out, and then he yeah in the firing line, sort of thing. No, hundred percent. I just and, think, and, yeah, with Eddie, you just never know. Like, really, you know, like it'll be interesting to see when he's playing in a good Arsenal team. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he's always been in like a struggling team. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that that factors in as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, he a lot of our kind of it's hard to judge them because they've just not been really in a good team. Like, it's a lot of time he's been in transition. Yeah, like, during the time he's been there. So yeah, it's 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 a tough one. Like it wouldn't shock me. 
put it this way, if he went to another club like a West Ham or I can't even say West Ham no more. Yeah, no, nah, it's, a, it's a different right. time, bro. <laughs> yeah, West Ham. <laughs> a Brighton, one of them sort of teams. Yeah. And actually, like, done all right. Do you know what I mean? It wouldn't shock me. Yeah. He's, he's shown, like, promise. But, yeah, I don't know whether he'll ever get the chance like that at Arsenal. Because I think yeah. Laka and the Bamiyan, especially this season, are ahead of him. Yeah. Like, the Balogun, I don't know. Maybe he depends... In training and stuff, he might show more promise. He might get a few more chances. Yeah, he's talked up a lot, isn't he? Well, you know, it's 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 good for competition. The fact that Eddie is not just like sulking, you know, yeah, his yeah. things are not really yeah. going his way. He's kind of being pushed behind Balogun in a way. Um, so I, I like that he's trying to fight for his place. I love the energy that he had on the pitch yesterday. So that's a positive. Another yeah. guy that um, hasn't started for a while for us, obviously he had COVID, was Lacazette. Um, so he got the first goal with a penalty. Um, he assisted um, Emil Smith Rowe for the second goal as well. Okay. Um, so it was good to see him get minutes. My question to you, Aubameyang, Lacazette, Sunday, who do you give the opportunity? Who starts for you? And before you answer this, yeah, let me let me let, let me just mention um, Lacazette. I think in the last seven games has scored four goals in the North yes, London right. derby. So he's, yeah, he's been quite, yeah, yeah he's been quite yeah. prolific in that. I yeah. think Aubameyang in the last seven, correct me if I'm wrong, someone is going to correct me, um, has scored three goals. So not much difference, but no. in the last few matches in the North London derbies, Lacazette has looked like a player, but I'm, I'm not going to, um, I'm going to allow you to pass your opinion. Yeah. Who, who should, who's the best out of two it's to very start? tough, man. I think obviously Abamyang, the Abamyang we know and love, mm. like, it's a no brainer. Like, yeah, we all know kind of the attributes that you know would favor putting Lacazette in there. Like, he will work his ass off, and that's obviously what you want in a North London derby as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, you can obviously put the ball. He's actually a big game player, Lacazette. Yeah, he turns up in the big games, like you just mentioned there. Like, he's I've seen him against Tottenham, he always puts a shift in 100%. Uh, does well but yeah it's just tough because obviously a bamyang has he's what he scored in the league against norwich he scored the hat trick against west brom mm. he's showing glimpses of getting back to where we know he can be and maybe i would probably take the punt on him because lack is obviously just coming back as well he's just mm-hmm. had this game so i would probably be on the safer side and go a bamyang and it's a risk both ways really because i mean if Lacazette is fit, then it's more of a like topic, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Like, if if they were, I don't think he's a hundred percent. Obviously, that was the first game he started, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's literally so, really just come back. Yeah, and he hasn't come on a sub either, has he? Yeah, in any of the league games. No, not in the league games. No, no. So I would, yeah. He come on a sub, didn't he? In the West, West Brom, Brom, West Brom yeah. match. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I know, it's weird. Yeah, be. So yeah, how about yourself? Do you know what? I think if if he needed a few more games before we brought him into a match like the North London derby, um, I like I would have put Laka first. I'm still not sure with this new Abamyang. That's what I'm going to call him, the new Abamyang. Um, yeah, the ver- uh, the verd is. I don't know. We'll see with him. Very I think. Cute. Yeah, I think with Lacazette, I love his link-up play. Obviously, he's a lot better than Aubameyang. He's more of a yeah. team player, as you, as you mentioned. Um, and I like yeah. that combination of Emil Smith-Rowe, Saka and Laka. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they've uh, been very vocal about that, even. Yeah. They, they like playing with Lacazette. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. Him on the pitch. And we all know, like, his link-up play is much better. Yeah. I mean, he's more of a, like, on-the-shoulder striker, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not much, much to his game outside of scoring goals. But obviously, you know, then you say a striker's job is to score goals, isn't it? Yeah. So, you know, more time with Le- with Aubameyang, the, the, the version one Aubameyang, if, mm. if he's in the right position, then he's going to slow it home. So mm. it's such a tough one, man. Um, yeah. It's a good question. I think, yeah, I think personally, they was both fit and, like, Laka was coming in, like, with reasonable form. I would probably start Lacazette over him, to be honest. Yeah, I agree with you. I agree with you. I think it may be, I think he should feature in the match. 
But to start him, I'll probably play a Bamiyang. Um, I'm hoping that this will be the match to push Bamiyang, a Bamiyang to start scoring some goals, really. I mean, he scored against Norwich. Yeah, he got that trick in the uh, League Cup. But he's still not a bang man, a Bamiyang, we know. Um, but another player that's not really on form, to be quite honest, I mean, he scored yesterday um, in the Cup, was Harry Kane. But in the league, he hasn't even scored this season, you know? Um, yeah, so that was the whole thing with, like, his head's gone a bit, isn't it? Really? Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, the way he started the season, I swear he was on holiday the first game of the season. Yeah. You know what I mean? Man was just chilling, hoping that this move's going to happen. <laughs> left out to dry. He on holiday, <laughs> I don't know what's going on with him. Like, obviously, he's quality in he came. That's the, you know what? That was the thing with this game. It's like up until I know it's only the Carabao Cup, and it, to be fair, it's Wolves though. So Wolves are where they Premiership team. Did you see yeah. that? I did see some of the highlights. Of that I saw game. the highlights. Yeah, they looked all right, didn't they? For fuck's sake, man! I but that, I, I Wolves, Wolves haven't been this great this season. To be quite honest, if I'm honest with you, I haven't, I haven't really been impressed with them. Um, you know what? They and, have and, been all right. They played well against Spurs, you know, in that first game. They shouldn't yeah. have lost that game, you know. Fair enough. And they've done all right against Man U. They just results wise has not been great for them. But yeah, yeah, the, the, I've seen them in those two games, and those two games they definitely deserve more out of those games. Yeah, but it's like yeah, the other ones because they haven't they're near the bottom. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I mean. I think the good thing that came out from that match was the fact that, you know, it went to penalties. You, the likes of Harry Kane were, they they were, you know, they played those extra minutes. So they're probably oh. tired, hopefully. Um, but yeah, anything can happen. It's the North London derby, man. And that guy turns up as, as well for those matches. So um, we'll see. Um, an another player I just want to confirm, if you would play him. Um, would you go for, if, if Arteta does go for, a four two three one. Would you play Parte with Lokonga or Jaka? I'm done with Jaka, bro. To be honest with you, <laughs> like, I know that he would be better, more experienced. Mm. But when you say more experienced. He don't play like he's got more experience, does he? Because he'll yeah. just do something stupid. Like yeah, you yeah. Know, you saw in the big game the other day, massive game, Man City. You're two nil down, and then you go and do that. You give the, the referee a decision to make, just diving mm. with a challenge like that. It's just I don't trust him, and like yeah, just for that fact, really, that I don't trust him. It's mm. not even about quality because if it was the fact the fact that his mentality was good, that I would start him. Yeah, yeah, because he's gonna have he play he'll play like ten good games now probably. Jaka, do you know what I mean? And then do something stupid. So yeah, and Lukonga's done nothing but. Like impress me to be honest with you. I think the only thing is what you mentioned before. Him and Partey look to be quite similar, like in their yeah. game. So Jaka and Partey, I do feel probably complement each other better. Um, but yeah, I would even potentially do what we did in the other game, where you have Odegaard sitting and then mm. you have Smith Road. Do you know what I mean? So Partey yeah, yeah, yeah. like the one sitting, and then you've yeah. got. Smith Odegaard Rowe, assisting and, and yeah, 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 I yeah, would maybe yeah. do that uh, because I feel like that will keep the ball so much better because you've got Saka, great keeping the ball, Odegaard, mm. Smith Rowe, like Partey, do you know what I mean? All like ballers, possession based ballers, so yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I think, yeah, I would potentially do that. Um, what are you thinking? Would you play him alongside him? It's, it, do you know what? It's, it's one one thing you did mention, and you said I don't trust him. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying, how can you put your faith in someone that you don't trust? Um, and you're, you know, the same thing with me. I, I don't trust him, and I don't think he can trust himself. To be quite honest, the only thing I will say <laughs> is he does <laughs> offer um, something different stylistically. To party, I think party and the Conga for me, people have argued with me. I think they're very similar, you know, they're, they're playing the balls um, through the lines, etc. The similar type of ball that they play, it's like for me, the Conga is and um, party is understudy that he's learning and he's doing very well. Um, but it's very same, same for me type of player. Yeah. I think, I think with Jacker, he's someone who can 
switch to play. He can play that long ball and 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 switch it if it needs to be switched. Um, I would say for his, um, he has got some leadership skills. Um, a lot of people have argued with it with that again but i think he has got some leadership skills which are important we saw it for for switzerland i've seen it sometimes you know half time for for arsenal etc um even though I, my mate in the group chat was saying all he does is point backwards point backwards at half time which means nothing what does that mean so yeah but for me i i think um i'll play yes. jackie you know he has got yeah he has got leadership like he's like he can spray a ball yeah, like, he's probably the best passer, like yeah. of range, you know. Yeah. yeah, but like I said, it's just like yeah, I feel like I feel like for me, anyone who's still kind of like got time for Xhaka, I just got yeah. short memory. Yeah, just yeah, got yeah. Short memory. Like this guy, not even just getting sent off and just making mistakes, he threw the armband down. Like, yeah, yeah, no. Nah. We come into if someone can get away with that, and you're still like. You know what I mean? If you're the caliber of someone like Vieira, you'd be like, eh, all right, cool. You know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. he did that, but he's a G, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> far from a G. Like, he couldn't, like, 10 years ago, he wouldn't even have a sniff of the bench, bro. Do you know what I mean? Facts, facts, facts. But hold up. Did it, didn't Ainsley, what was Ains, Ainsley was on Twitter, like, crying his eyes out about he's not getting the opportunity. Do you know what I'm saying? For our club, bro. <laughs> from these men. Now my man's playing central midfield. It's mad. It's mad. It's just over time how... The thing is, actually, Ainsley come on and I thought he looked all right again. Yeah, yeah. He did. He did. He did. He did. He showed things up. Off in the Burnley game as well, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, he he showed things up in in the Burnley match. So, um, I give him that. You see, for me, Jacker's the guy. If you're at a pub and a pub fight is about to pop off, Jacker is the guy that you need in your corner. Do you know what I'm saying? Because he's erratic. He'll do yeah, something yeah, crazy. On, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You don't I even know. He's unpredictable. Him and Kalazanich. Do you remember when he yeah. went at the man <laughs> with the knives? Right, yeah, bro. Like, that, that, whatever, mate. Yeah. I'll be, I'll have a gun pointed at me. What's the hell with that Swiss army knife? Get away. Bro, he killed it. He killed it. That's, That's what I it. thought. He, I thought, you know what? I like this guy, you know? But he just ended up dead. Yeah, um, oh, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, I'm not even talking about him being anywhere near that pitch. Like, he better not nah, be nah. near that pitch. You cannot, bro. Yeah, you, you say that. He, bro. he was playing he played against City, bro. But we'll, we'll, we'll forgive Arteta for that. We had a few injuries, etc. You know, so oh, yeah. we'll allow it. So, yeah. But, yeah, I, I may pl- I would play Jacker. I would, I would, I would do it. Um, I know it's going against the grain. And not, not a lot of people... Um, would like that decision. I'll tell you one thing I'd also do. Um, Saka, I saw from the, he's better on the right, man. For me personally, he's a lot more effective on the right. And I don't know if having Lacazette in the mix of things helps him as well. Uh, being closer to Smith Rowe or linking up with Smith Rowe, but that combination of those three works very well, you know. And I think Arteta would have probably seen that. And I think. The problem with Saka has been um, because he's so good in so many positions, like Arteta in England, they just want to play him everywhere. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it, yeah, he's yeah, not he's getting the opportunity to be useful anywhere, isn't it? And yeah, he's that, say, exactly. Um, yeah, 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 I hear you. They're making him like you. a utility player in, in that sense. But, you know, this play him in his better position, um, which is personally for me on the right hand side. He's got Tamayasu there now. I would like to see that combination, see if that works well um, the thing, together. The thing, don't you think Pepe is kind of, it's true what you're saying, as in, I believe, mm. I, I know what you're saying, because obviously Saka will cut in from the right, whip it with his left, like yeah. Pepe does. You see what I mean? So that's mm. the only issue. And it's only because obviously Pepe, you can't then like, he's not going to be adaptable. Pepe's yeah. almost like, yeah. that's his position, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I don't really think Pepe really running down the left and then whipping it getting to the byline sort of guy he's more yeah 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 come inside cut inside where Saka can do a bit of both yeah so I know what you're saying mm. it's it's a, it's a tough one because then you just you kind of have to see who is more adaptable I guess. you're right yeah so it's, it's yeah it's kind of like play Saka and you lose out on Pepe or play Pepe on that right and you lose something with Saka 
Um, but Saka is more effective on that other wing than Pepe on the left wing in that sense. But yeah, yeah. I, I I agree. Um, I, I would I'd still I'd still take that risk with him on on, on that right hand side for for the North Where London would derby. Play? What would you do then? Would you put Pepe? Where would you would you put? Would you not play him? Would you uh, put on the left? Because Bamiyan on the left doesn't work either. Um. I don't even know about that. I think that's a bit of a myth as well, you know. Yeah. He's, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't think he's played that bad on the left. Like, I, I, I don't think know. There's more to do if it coincided with him just not scoring. Yeah, uh, yeah. Like, it was not like he's still putting a shift in there because he played when he was scoring, even. That's mm. what he was doing a lot from the left. How many goals do you see him cutting in from the left, right foot, shh, top bins? Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. That a lot. Yeah. So you could maybe do him and Laka. So the, the thing is, that's the thing. We've got a lot of options. Nah, I don't want to see Laka and Aubameyang playing in the same team at the same time. I just don't think... I've right. never seen it work, bro. I've never seen it work. Yeah. Martinelli... Like having a good time, in it. Vibes on the pitch. Yeah. <laughs> Pure vibes. Together and that. No goals, you know I mean? bro. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not on, on that. Right? Yeah, I'm not on that. I mean, he's played Pepe on the left before. I'm not sure, but... I'm not sure with that left. But what I would say is... For me, Saka's got to be on that right. Um, that's yeah, I, I, I definitely have him on that right. To be fair, but we'll see what yeah. Arteta goes with. You know, um, it's, it's yeah, his yeah. choice. Um, have you got more faith in Arteta now? You know, three uh, wins. I've, I've kind of like I've said before. Like I was in Arteta, mm. then he wound me up towards the end of last season. Yeah, and just a lot of questionable decisions. Like I always. Gave him a bit of a, a blight in the fact that he's learning on the job. So you're yeah. gonna get these, he's gonna make these errors, but some of these were like fundamental things. I was thinking, no, nah, you're just clueless, mate. So it's kind of come to a point where because they're sort of like his players mm. and they've shown faith in the players that he wants, the style of football he wants to play, like they're going with that vision. Yeah. It's almost like it's silly to then move yeah. to someone else. Yeah, I remember you saying that. The, yeah, the thing is, is like we're not going to get top four and mm. we're going to come between fifth and 10th, in my opinion. <laughs> so, <laughs> we've that, that's our sin at the moment. And to be honest with you, I don't actually care that much mm. if we come fifth or if we come for banter, I don't want to come ninth or 10th, obviously. Yeah, bro. People running your club. But in terms of like, that's where we are. So it's like, we're not going to be in no relegation fight. We're not mm. going to finish below 10th. Yeah. So I kind of feel like we're in a position where you may as well give it a punt, stay with him. Um, and like, yeah, we'll see, in it? Like, the only thing I will say is Lokonga, Tavares, uh, Tamiyasu, Ramsdale, mm. they've all looked all right. Yeah, they've yeah, all yeah. Right. They've all, especially so, uh, Ramsdale for me. Bro. We knew about. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, and he obviously, this time around, you can see. It was almost like more of his vision with the players. Like you yeah. can see all these old Brazilians coming in for like, you know what I mean? Taking a last page mm. sort of thing. David Luiz, yeah. Williams yeah, and yeah. that. That's yeah, just, yeah, yeah, yeah. They've binned off that strategy. They're going for more like up and comings. Yeah. And yeah, they seem like they they look all right. It's early doors, isn't it? Yeah. Like we, can't, we can't really tell, but it's always good to have a good start, isn't it? Yeah, no, I agree. I think that... With the signings that he's made, fully agree. They've all looked good, especially Ramsdale for me. He's, he's looked excellent. Um, I think we've shored up the, the back line. We look we look assured at the back. I think we're lacking something up front. I don't know if our money could have stretched to get someone up front to score some goals or do something, but I think we're lacking with that. And like you said, it, it's a process that is going to take time. Um, I don't want to be finishing 10th, like you said. I mean... <sighs> Someone asked me the other day, would I take sixth position and an FA Cup win? Um, sadly, probably yes, to be quite honest. I mean, obviously, I do want top four, but I was looking at that top four, and you're right, I just yeah, can't yeah, sit. Four, <laughs> don't, even, don't even trouble your brain, bro. Uh, without, I listen, you know, listen, though, question. listen. Let me, say, let me say one thing. You see when Leicester won the league, yeah? If I had asked you that beginning of that season, would they have won the league? Yeah, you would have said, Shut well, up, you know, talking. Those what do you thing, know? Yeah, they happen that that's once in a lifetime thing. They're right? movie I'm situations, yeah, they're Hollywood. That. Like, don't get me wrong, like, it's not out of the question for like mm. you see every year, Leicester are like in the mix for top four, aren't they? The last couple yeah. of years, 
Yeah. So when a team comes along and, you know what I mean, they just get it right for that year. Like, even West Ham done really well last season. Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm. So you can, you can get in there and it's not like out of the question, mm. but just the way Liverpool are looking, the way City are looking, Man U have obviously invested, yeah, Chelsea yeah. have done the... They just look too far clear for me. Too so strong. that's what I'm saying. It's like fifth and tenth. So for me, the most crucial thing in terms of where we finish, like I said, I'm not bothered because I know we're Arsenal. All of us have grown up on winning league titles, bro. Like, mm. So for me, getting in the Europa, if, if we get into the Europa at the end of the season, I'm not happy, bro. Like, yeah. I'm not happy. Like, it's... Yeah. It's not like I know where we was last season, but I don't think to myself, yes, we're eighth last season. Now we're yeah. fifth. Or yeah. fifth. I don't care, bro. I'm like, literally, if we finished ninth and we was four points off of top four, mm. yeah, as opposed to being fifth and like 10 points off top four, I'll take mm. ninth. Because wow. I know next season, we're closer to being where we need to be and where we should be. Hear what you you're saying. What I mean? you're That's saying. how I look at it. I'll tell you what, I don't want to spend 149 million and finish eighth again, though. That's one thing I'd say. No, I mean, it's <laughs> terrible, isn't it? Because it just looks terrible on paper. And just <laughs> the club in I can't even remember like saying them bars. You know what I mean? <laughs> terrible, Maybe bro. the first couple of games of the season, but never to finish eighth. Like, yeah. That is if for Arsenal in my lifetime, anyway. It's just unheard of territory. Do you know what I mean? Facts. So, facts. Facts. Yeah, man. Facts. I don't know, man. All right, well, let, let, let's, let's, all right, well, I'm going to ask you um, one more question. Obviously, Sunday is the big match. We're at home. I, last week, I got it right. I'm going to give you a chance to redeem yourself and get it right this week with Wait, the, with the, the, with the, the result. result. Like, not the score, innit? Come and on, the man. score. Yeah, we need, we need to start doing forfeits, you know. Well, get his rug and say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm joking. What what's what's the score gonna be this week? And the result. Um I'm gonna go two one Arsenal. Yeah. Putting my neck on the line, bro. You're gonna go two one That's again, yeah. Yeah, you know what, yeah. I yeah. last week, two one this week. I tell you something, yeah. I feel like if we score the first goal, yeah, I think early we as well. Game. I think we definitely win. I just don't see Tottenham at the moment. Not that we have characters really anyway, but yeah. just especially Spurs, I just don't see them going down one goal and then coming back. I just don't yeah, see I it. Like, I just saying. don't see their team. From what I've seen of their team, they've not really been creating chances. They've been getting the, the games they won was all one nil. Then they've mm. lost two, three nils back to back. Yeah. So yeah, I just I'm sorry, no, they the League Cup game wasn't it in midweek, but in terms of the other two was the league two three nil losses. Yeah. I don't feel like yeah. I, they don't worry me to be like a team that's going to say, all right, be one nil down away from home in a North London derby and come back and beat us. Yeah. But anything can happen, man. These yeah. things, form always goes out the window in any of these games. Not that any of us are in particularly great form, but yeah, I, anything can happen. But I, I don't know. I'm quietly confident, man. Yeah. I mean, I think we've got the home advantage. I think if you can't get motivated for this match, then there's not many matches you're going to be mo motivated for. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm hoping Arteta can mo motivate the boys. They shouldn't really need motivating, but maybe for the newbies, you know. I I, I like the fact that people like Ramsdale, who I know will be up for this match, you know. He, he seems like a, he's got that heart. He's got that character. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm going to go for the victory. Um, I'm going to go 2-0. Um, another I'm clean on. sheet. Um, I think a is going to get one. I think the celebration is going to be fire as well. Um, and I think Emil Smith Rowe is going to get a goal as well. Right, yeah. yeah, so I like him to start chipping in a bit. He's obviously yeah, yeah. In mid -week. That's what he needs to add to his game because yeah, at the end definitely. Of the day, he is great. We know what he's about. Like he's a great. Like he's good on the ball. Glides. Do you know what I mean? He looks like celeb. Do you yeah, yeah. Name? Well, yeah, he's like yeah. that when he's on the ball, just glides. Yeah, and I don't know, he just needs to. But Heb never, Heb never really scored that many goals. No, nah, he did didn't, he? he didn't. He was but silky and getting. Go, I feel like, yeah, if he can add that to his game, that would just give us a massive plus 100%. You know? Man, 100%. I think he's got a big future ahead of him. Um, and like you said, we, we both 
I mean, against Chelsea in particular, we both feel really poor, to be quite honest. Um, but hopefully our performance can um, get better and improve. Um, so that's why I've gone for the victory. And, you know, I, I can't knock back my team in a North London derby as well. Do you know what I'm saying? Never, yeah. never that, never that. So Unless we was coming in on like five losses or something. Even then, bro, I couldn't do it. Realistic. But no, 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 no. no. You know where we've come back, three games on the spin now. Obviously, one of them was against Wimbledon, but mm. it just breeds confidence, didn't it? So yeah. hopefully, yeah, we can no, get definitely. the Because that'll be massive, man, because that'll just shut their man up. Oh, get him on my nerves. <sighs> so when there was nine points clear in that, my friend was like a snowblower. <laughs> Messages every two minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My phone. we were bad at like, FC, yeah, bro. Yeah. Just humble them, like just know yeah. their spot. That They're quieting it down, isn't it? They're quieting it down a bit, don't you lot, think? Bro. That's yeah. always been my thing with Spurs fan. Like, I'm not an idiot. Like, if a man you fan is telling me my team shit, I'm almost like that's calm in it. Like, <laughs> you are where you are. You are where you are, isn't it? Yeah, it is what it is, it is what it is. It burns because I know we used it's to have angry, a You're angry, like, but you can't really say much, innit? You have to simmer in it certain times, innit? Yeah, you, you have to, innit? But with Spurs, no, nah, man, no. Nah, I'm not having it from you lot. Like, who yeah. are you? Like, he was one point ahead of us. There's a one-game sw- swing. That's what a lot of men I speak to's argument. They're one point ahead of us in the league last season. Bro. So what, mate? Like, who, if you who? were 10, all right, cool. You just mm. crack on, innit? Like, I won't really say anything, but it's so marginal. Like, we, it's almost like... Bruv, we're sitting, yeah, in a long stale tracksuit, bruv, with holes in, yeah. <laughs> but the Spurs man are sitting in a long stale tracksuit. <laughs> Your shit as well, bro. We're just a bit more shit. It don't mean you can talk to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like yeah. it's like that, bro. So yeah, no facts, facts, facts. Yep, exactly. And, and it's like, who are you and what have you won? They 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 need to remember that. <laughs> I mean, you don't even go into that one. Like, yeah, you yeah. open that one, you ain't yeah. won nothing. In our worst time, yeah, our worst time, yeah, we've won more than them. Yeah, so no, it's facts. Just, it's just mad. But anyway, yeah. But listen, listen. About that. Yeah, we, we could, we could, we could, but we're going to have to talk after um, the North London derby. Um, 100%. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's catch it's, up a little reaction team. Definitely, man. It's been a pleasure talking to you today. Ash, is there anything? Where can the people find you? Like, let, let them know about you, mum. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I'm on Insta, Boods49, B O O D S 49. Always finding something to take the piss out of. So, yeah. Yeah, he's, he's, a, com- he's, he's a, a comedian on Insta. And that, then jump yeah. on and follow me, man. And then I'm on TikTok as well. Not singing and dancing and all that rubbish that probably your kids <laughs> are. This is just a football <laughs> thing. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, just messing around with football, man. Just having my takes on things I see and just my interpretation of it, basically. And yeah, it's going quite well. Like TikTok, I hit a million likes last week, I think, and I've got like big, 20, big, big followers. So yeah, doing all right, man. Nice. And big up yourself as well, JR. Like you're doing a thing out here, bro. A lot Thank of people you, I've been sending this podcast to, and people was really good feedback. Just saying, really good like discussion. Like the last one we we did, actually. Yeah. They, yeah, it was good feedback, bro. So, yeah, man, keep it up, man. Big up, bro. Thank you for that, man. Listen, people, if you get to see Ash, check him out, man. He, he's hilarious. He's a, he's very he's a funny guy still. So check out his, his thing on TikTok, Instagram. Yes, yes. Yeah. But um, until, until the North London Derby people, take care. Have a good week. And hopefully North London will stay red. Come on. Gooners.